Seafood, rush rush seafood. That doesn't have smell. But in everything I do, I love having garlic. Fresh or dry. And this is my fish and my seafood seasoning. So because I have fish here, mussels or clams, crab, crawfish and prawns. So and I'm gonna pour a lot of water on it. So I'm pouring water in now. I'm gonna stir it. You need to season fish very well so that the salt, the mayhem, the tape, bullion cubes, they enter it. So I'm gonna add salt now. I don't like, I've already had my fish seasoning, so I'm not adding my bullion seasoning now. So I'm just adding salt because I want everything to come out very fine. And I'm gonna stir it again because it's still raw. I have to stir now because when it's no more raw, I can't stir anymore. So I'm gonna stir it now and I'm gonna cover it. So my seafood is getting boiled. My fish, you can see. My clams or mussel, whichever way you want to call it, is opening bit by bit. When it's done, you'll see it open. Like you can actually use the clam to pack soup to eat. So you see when you see seafood turning orange, that means it's done. It's almost it's getting cooked, baby. So I'm gonna cover a box. So it's completely boiled. You see the muscle look mean. I easy the bit inside. That's what we're eating here. It's just that the shell is fancy. Now I'm gonna hide palm oil. Little bit of palm oil, that's just a spoon of palm oil. Then I'll cover it for five minutes for it to cook the palm oil. This is pepper, tomato and onion, blended, not too smooth because it is a local soup. My mom will always say, Because your seafood is done, the fish is done and you don't want it to break. You don't use spoon anymore. You shake rigorously and carefully so you don't burn it so you see that it's all mixed now i'm going to cover it because i want the pepper to be boiled i want i don't want to smell fresh pepper anymore i want to smell cooked pepper so i'm going to cover it for like 10 minutes for it to boil and gives my fish more time to boil more and make my fish more I'm a fan of chicken bouillon, so I had chicken bouillon to so all my food, whether seafood or chicken or beef, I use chicken bouillon. Then, if you're making any local dish, to spice it up, you need crayfish powder to make it yummy. It gives it, it takes it to another level entirely. One thing, you know you have to be very careful because you don't want the fish to break. The crab won't break, the prawns won't break, the crawfish won't break, but the fish will break. So we have, they are already breaking, so you have to be careful. Shake as much as... Okay. 